Welcome to Paraben's E3 platform training using the data triage functions. Quick training outline. Which tool is this available in? E3 Universal and E3 P2C, which is our P2 Commander product. What is the triage function for hard drive data? What data is collectible? And how to collect this data? What is triage function for hard drive data? Basically, 80% of the results only come from 20% of the stuff. What is collected? Available in file system evidence, which is physical drives and images of physical drives that have system partitions, system logical drives and images of system logical drives, and registry hives. Contains data on email databases, chat databases, internet browsers installed on the investigated computer. It also allows for viewing recently used files in the My Documents folder. How do you collect this data? Well, let's get started. I go ahead and open up our E3 and let that load. Takes just a minute. Once E3 has been successfully loaded, go ahead and close out of this window. I always like to create a new case so I have all of my information there and I don't have to worry about it later. So we're going to call this data triage. Additional information, this is just your name and any other pertinent information that you need in the case. You go ahead and click finish. And we're going to save it to our default location and the case is going to be created. Now we're going to go ahead and add our evidence. Now we're going to go ahead and load our image file. We're going to auto detect that. Click OK. And there is my evidence. So we're going to load that file. I'm going to rename it. Click OK. And this is the auto exam wizard and this is where the data triage happens. So go ahead and click Start Auto Exam. I like to just use the defaults. And that's going to start your auto exam. Under Content Analysis, you can see it's starting to sort. Now that the auto exam wizard has completed the content analysis, we're going to just click OK here and that it's been successfully completed. We're going to go over and drill down into our image file. And here you can see data triage. If we go ahead and expand this data triage, give it just a moment, it's going to show you email databases, my documents folder, recently used files, and parsed registry data. Over to the right hand side you can see the in and total numbers of items, artifacts, within those. So under email databases we have one Outlook Express database, we have My Documents, we have recently used files, and a ton of information on the PC itself. A super helpful hint, items of the selected category that are available and can be examined with the help of E3 are marked in black. The items that were deleted or moved are marked in red and items that are located on another logical slash physical disk are marked in gray. We're going to go ahead and go over to our email databases. As you can see, Outlook Express is there. Also, it can parse through and detect GroupWise, Exchange EDB, Lotus Notes, AOL, Microsoft Outlook PSTs and OSTs, The Bat, Thunderbird, Outlook Express, Eudora and Windows Mail databases. So if we go ahead and double click on that, we know it's black, so it's there. So it says basically you need to export this so you can re-import that and look through the evidence. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. To give us the ability to export this Outlook Express, we're going to go to that file specifically and then we are going to go ahead and export Outlook Express. Now because we want to look at this entire email database, we're just going to go ahead and highlight Outlook Express over here. Right click, export, 
um, we're going to just export it to a folder. We're going to use the default path that it already has set for us. Uh, you can browse and change this path to a different path if you need. So we're going to export that. It has finished. We're going to go over to evidence. We're going to add this evidence back in as an Outlook database. Outlook Express database, pardon me, and it's a folder. And we are going to just go down and select that folder. We're going to re-import that. We're going to run the auto exam wizard again. And that has been added. Auto exam has successfully completed. What I also like to do with these is to do some folder counting on it so I know exactly what's in each folder. So I just highlight the local folders and start counting on the analysis tab. When the start counting folders content has completed, you'll notice that this turns blue. So you can see exactly what you have in each portion of the Outlook Express folder system. We're going to go ahead and go back down to our data triage folder. And as you can see, there's my documents. If you expand this, you can see the path of the documents and who used them. Recent files. Again, only the ones highlighted in blue. If you are highlighted on it and then it goes gray, that means it's still not available. But you can see the source, <clears throat> excuse me, the PC it came from. And then parsed registry data. You can explore the registry hives as well. So we know it's an XP machine. What's running on startup. You can drill down into that. You can drill down into the OS information. Programs. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can go into services, what services were running at the time. You can scroll all the way down. Known DLLs. USB storages, this is great if you need to see what type of USB they have plugged into the computer. So as we can see, this one is a USB disk drive. It's a Hitachi. Just gives you some standard information on what has been plugged into the computer. Also, the user uh, information, the profiles on the PC itself. So let's say we go into recent docs of this XPM user. It will give you registry information as well. You can also see the OpenSave MRU. If you double click on that, drill down into that hive, you're going to see, for instance, the JPEG, the path of what, where that data resides. Additionally, if you go to, for instance, typed URLs, you'll be able to see what they have typed into their browser via the registry hive. Really great information, super easy to find. And on a quick side note, you can also see the path of where that came from. It was Internet Explorer, typed URLs. It gives you a lot of information under this general tab. Data triage also does chat databases. So if you go to your sorted files, go to chats, that's going to bring up a Skype database. So if we double click on this, it's going to take us down to the Skype database. We're going to go ahead and mount this as a Skype database. Double click on that. It's going to give you all the Skype database information, the profile, chats, receive files, pictures, content. That's the basics of using our data triage function. If you do need additional help with this, go to help, 
either electronic ex evidence examiner help or how to, and then just search for data triage, you're going to get a ton of helpful information out of using these two sources. And that's it for us today. I hope you guys have a great day and we look forward to having you watch our videos again.